Out and about Rwanda today, we are traveling with the executive producer. Normally behind the camera, Rodriguez Iragena will be part of the Timber Rwanda campaign on today's episode. Out and about Rwanda today is part of the campaign that aims at motivating Rwandans to explore their own country and put the spotlight on domestic travels. Today, more than 65 people including guests, media personalities and other invitees will witness the beauty of the land of a thousand hills. The itinerary began at RDB headquarters when everyone was there. We took the road to the eastern side of Rwanda, where our first destination to visit was a solar plant located in Ramagana, approximately 58 kilometers from Kigali. With a warm welcome by the manager, we got a tour and more details about the place. It's called um, medium voltage power station. Normally, the form of energy we have in electricity, we have a DC current and alternating current. Always panel give you, give you uh, current in terms of DC, DC current. But the utility, the utility transmission line is alternating current. So the conversion takes place here. The white compartment is called inverter does convert energy from a, a DC into AC. But the output from the inverter is the, the voltage is a little bit low. So we have to step up the voltage to reach 15,000 volts. So we use a big transformer in the middle. Okay, then from there it is, fe is, fe is fed into the grid. So to, uh, the, the panels, as I said, they move. Okay, they tilt. Um, but you also are facing wind here. So if you have a heavy wind, depending on the tilt of the panel, it might bubble and break. So we need to bring them in horizontal position for, as safety position. So we use those sensors, wind sensor. If we reach a certain level, thres threshold level, then the panel will come back into a safe position. We have another equipment on top, white, little white, thing there on top that measures the irradiation. Mainly the, the production and irradiation should be uh, proportional. Okay? So the investors always check the, the, the irradiation and production. If the production is lower than irradiation, means there is a technical problem. So you need to explain what happened. Also it helps us to yeah, there, there is a in the power purchase agreement, there is a clause that said if there is anything wrong with the grid and there is a blackout, so we don't have anywhere to put our production, but we will deem, we will claim the deemed energy. So how we claim the deemed energy? That sensor is always connected to a UPS, so it never loses power, then to will measure the irradiation of that day, of that day of blackout. So we apply those data into a simple calculation to measure how much we should have produced. Then we claim that energy. So they were clever. <laughs> okay, so we can carry on. The second largest utility scale solar field in East Africa of 28,360 panels, which generate 8.5 megawatts of electricity, has increased Rwanda's generation capacity by 6%, and now the field is powering more than 50 15,000 homes with electricity. From there, our journey continued to Kayonza, where we made a stop by at Women for Women Opportunity Center. Uh, this uh, project started in 2003. It's, uh, it was started by Women for Women International. It was part of the initiative to promote women and empowering them. No, 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 
ubwo rero hakaba harimo nkukore nabe babwiye turi muri weekend abadamu ntago bakora umunsi ku munsi kuko bakora guhera kwa mbere kugera kwa gatatu weekend and uh, the women are not here because they work in the weekdays ubu ngo bo bababonye nabakanya wo kwita ku miryango yabo so it's uh, their time also to look after their families ariko turaza kubona bamwe muri bo bashoye kuhagera bari gukora imirimo ya bikora have a few around you can see as we are moving around ahanga ha rero hari inkuko nabwiye hari ububoshi uh, we have activities like weaving hari ugukora imigongo muraze gusobanukirwa making uh, imigongo it's kind of yes yeah. no, no 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 please nimita ko bataka munzu it's a rwandan thing you find it anywhere you can translate that it's called umugongo whenever you find it <laughs> yes ni mumucho uh, yeah it's part of our culture but it's kind of painting they use cow dung can tell you the process of making it but we can't change the name the name is umugongo Yes. Yeah. Don't, you can't call it a bug. Eh? Don't be called the majambe and say you call it development, please. Umugongo, <laughs> <laughs> that's a, pro, a proper noun. It's not a Umwe umwe muri baraza ku kudusobanira mu make. We can get a, a, a demonstration of how they make. It's Ahanga harero dukora na na yogurt. They make yogurt, cheese, peanut butter, cheese, uh, all those products that are yeah. dairy products. Uh, bakaba bayikora byatangiye bari kwiga gusa kugira ngo nabo baziteze imbere ariko ubu ngo basige bayikora kugira babone amafaranga They started it as a way of uh, supporting their families but now they it has turned into a financial activity Birabafasha bigafasha n'imiryango yabo It helps them as well as the families Byatangiye ari uburyo bwo kugira abakuri mu bwigunge kuko ahanga ha ubundi dufasha abagore bawe nibazo by'intambara ari byumwe ari ko genocide yakore abatutsi It started as a way of uh, uh, keeping them uh, having company because they were living in solitude given the the dark history of our country the genocide against the Tutsis majority of these women are survivors so they use these activities as a way of having company as well of not being lonely aho rero ari muri gahunda za programme za women for women ariko tugira n'ikindi gice noneho cya cy'ubucuruzi they have another section of business ubucuruzi ni ukugira ngo bibe urubuga babandi bize gukora ya mirimo ishobora kuzabungukira babone aho bayikorera babone nama nisoko it's part of the platform where these uh, activity or these uh, activities they are planned to use it as a way of earning something the first and ever women opportunity center to create economic opportunities and rebuild social infrastructure for women ubu ngo turabadamu rwose bashimishije ntago tukiri ikibazo kuri leta ahubwo tusige tufite natwe turi igisubizo we are not a problem anymore to our government seeking from it but also we are now contributing something since we can earn a living out of what we do mugara basha kuri hiri umwana wa kwishuri we can pay school fees for their kids nukuvuga ngo igihangano cyacu kitugeje heza kandi dukesha wimene idahwema kudutekerezaho ubuntu buturaha murabona uko turakeye kandi turi mu mase gutya ariko ntago wabimenye the eco design compass of a market and retail space meeting space storage and workshops special event facilities lodging and restaurant services after exploring the spot and the interaction with members of the center our itinerary continued heading to Mohazi Beach Resort. Reaching there, everyone was excited about the serenity of the place. After checking with our rooms, plenty of activities were organized as we were to spend a night there. Personally, I couldn't wait to interact with people to find out how the experience of Tembe Rwanda Day 1 is before we call it a day. I mean, Tembe Rwanda, I find it extremely amazing. Um, I was looking forward to it, but it really exceeded my um, expectation. Um, I think it's so much um, more enjoyable to um, do this trip with, you know, people that I meet for the first time. and. Um, I get to know Rwanda way better than just traveling by myself or with the group. So I absolutely love it and I wish it, it was happening more often and I want to come back for sure. <laughs>
uragenda ukamenya menye ibice byinshi cyane taruzi ko mu gihugu bihari I mean Tamiru Rwanda and it's very great okay we have good activities and there is also a good atmosphere atmosphere okay between the the people all right so yeah. that's Nziza <laughs> what I call it oh dang it's very good yeah very good actually those guys who are not here are really missing really i'm telling you the team Tamiru Rwanda is really amazing I met a few friends. Wow, I almost shot my head. <laughs> so, you wait, I'm going to show them when I get back. Yeah, um, we went to the solar plant, which is actually the second biggest in East Africa. And uh, it's really helping to supply energy to this country. You know, it's uh, uh, green energy. And uh, I really appreciate for Tembe Rwanda to show us what we have in our country. I didn't know there's this solar plant until today. And um, we went to see some ladies who are making their crafts and uh, it's a big organization. Uh, these ladies, they have jobs before. And uh, it is amazing how a small community can come together and uh, put ladies together who have lost their husbands, who have lost kids and, uh, and uh, they're really making good things and uh, they're actually exporting to the international market. It's really amazing. The Tembe Rwanda is not only to visit the country, but uh, to, to actually get to understand the people we live with. And uh, it's an amazing activity. I wish every person, every Rwandan, could just uh, get out and uh, go out. Okay, it was a very good day. I was very happy to see you in the morning. I was very happy to see you in the morning. I was very happy to see you in the morning. Je suis un peu plus de temps. 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 Je suis un The second day of the trip early in the morning before leaving Mohazi Beach Resort, I had to interact with the manager to find out when is the right time one, a team, or a family should visit Mohazi Beach Resort. Hano wa haza buri munsi kuko twe tuba dufunguye buri kintu cyose ducuruza hangaha buri service dutanga yose umunsi kundi bikora ariko akeshi na kesh ko ari nk'ahantu habasa no kuruhuka kandi abantu basa n'abakiki imirimo nko mu byo mu weekend muri weekend ha hashushye kurushaho abantu babari benshi baba batembera abandi bakina abandi barahasi kumazi ubona ko muri weekend aba hashushye kurushaho Everyone was excited to visit Akajera National Park located in the northeast of Rwanda along the border with Tanzania with an extent of 1122 km square the forest fringed lakes papyrus swamps savanna plains and rolling highlands combined to make Akajera among the most scenic of reserve anywhere in Africa with an exceptional levels of biodiversity and reforms of the largest protected wetlands in Central Africa, reaching there with excitement, we all couldn't wait to explore. But before, we had to get briefed about how one should behave with wildlife and what we should expect in the park. <laughs> Yeah, mu gihe mukimwe mu gace na 1962 nibwo hatangiye mu bukera bya. That's when they opened it for tourism activity. Ah, harimo ubwoko bw'inyamanswa bwinshi cyane butandukanye. There are very many animal species. Harimo ah inzovu, inkura, intare, imbogo, imparage no bwoko 11 bwa antelope cyangwa se inyamanswa zo murindi mutoye. species of antelopes. Harimo nubwoko bw'inyoni butandukanye kugeza ubu dufite 525. 
So, cyane rero nyuma ya genocide after the genocide against the Tutsis uh Britani abantu bavuye hanze the Rwandans who came from bahawe igice kinini cy'a Paris they were given a very huge portion of the park kuva ku bihumbi 2007 igera ku gihumbi 112 to what is right now 2001 so um kubera rero ko abo bantu batujwe hafi ya parike bari bazanye ninka these people who came around to live around the park came along with their cattle so uh intare zajyaga kwica inka zabo ni inka kandi none zikaza kurisha muri parike so the animals could come to feed in the park and the lions could as well eat these animals bakoresheje umuti bitakaro w'abanyakenya so they used a drug called karo from kenya bice intare zose zari ziri maha and they killed all the lions that lived in akagera karo no umuti mu bicyano ushobora kwica ni uri incure shana five times no kuvuga ngo nibi niba inka wende inka iwuriyeho if a cow can feed on that, and that lion eats the lion, if it can feed on the lion, if it can feed on the lion, they also die until five generations that feed from what ate that drug. So, in the last native lions, or in the last lions, they would eat the lion. They were spotted in the last one. The last ones, they were spotted in 1999. Kuvi chaji he kujera muri viri na chumi na gata anun hana rezari vizi mahan. Till 2015, there were no lions anymore in this park. So ichaji he ni bugo baza nye izindi hara. Ariko kujira ngo baza ziza ne viri na chumi na gata tu. Bara vuzi ngo ni bjiza kuna noho avanza waga fencing. So they have to fence fast the park. Kuva southern area kujera kujaza hano hejuru hano ne. Kukajera hose haraziti. So this whole area is fenced with the electric fence. Kuzera ko inhare changwa se na wabatu rajavazi na gingha. Wenda bitaka zonga. So the people who are living in this area are not going to be able to get access to the water. They are not going to be able to get access to the water. They are not going to be able to get access to the water. They are not going to be able to get access to the water. They are not going to be able to get access to the water. They are not going to be able to get access to the water. They are not going to be able to get access to the water. They are not going to be able to get access to the water. They are not going to be able to get access to the water. They are not going to be able to get access to the water. They are not going to be able to get access to the water. They are not going to be able to get access to the water. They are not going to be able to get access to the water. Your ideas that you want to see enough animals. We have to visit from here and exit from the north. We normally use seven. Obusan gumundi dukoresha amasa hatanda tare. The normal time we normally use is between six to seven hours. Ari kujihe jihindo kavi teni jihumu umu umu chitsafiti. Yeah, but time changes according to the time the guests have. My name is Amul. So I'm with you for the whole day. So maybe my colleague told you that this part of the house it's bushy and there's no many animals, just few animals, and it's hard to see them because of the bushes. They can hide easily, and they will take a long drive so that we can find animals in the north part. So we'll be patient while you're driving in this part of the house, but we are going to start with the lake. The biggest lake of Akagera, which is Ihema, and uh, there is a loop where you can find some few animals like antelopes, maybe white hogs, and uh, hippos because it's nearby the lake. And after the loop, we will drive like uh, almost two hours to reach the part where we will find animals. So you be patient when we are not seeing animals. It's the nature, and we are now in summer. Out and about Rwanda, Rodriguez Irajena standing on the hyper beach. And so much to see, so much to do, and so much to love. Look just behind me. Hypo's chilling around. Not to see Mbavita Inyanje. I don't know how to say Inyanje in English, you'll excuse me, but Inyanje chilling right next to the Hypo's and uh, it's really amazing. It's like our last stop, but I hope the trip is gonna be awesome. Stick around. Please let's enjoy Tembele Rwanda together. So Nyirabiyo was a princess in Rwanda in 1893. 18, so she made Rigo pregnant, and in Rwanda there was the culture of chasing away those girls or reject them in water. So before rejecting her, her father told what was about uh, happening. And the, the daughter tried to escape, 
and he freed to Tanzania. She freed to Tanzania. When she lived there, people from Tanzania saw already what is happening with the already coming with illegal pregnant. They chased her away. And the, on the way back, I found, she found a small island in the lake. Then she said, this is not Rwanda, not in Tanzania. It's going to be my own land. So no one will chase me from this area. No man's land. Yeah. So that is the island I'm talking about. Yes, it's a small but historical. Then she stayed there for two years. About the history they told us from here in the park. And the, she gave birth. Then after two years, she started uh, being a witch doctor. Yeah, she's a known witch doctor in Rwanda. So they don't know what to choose in all, into all the things I have seen. But um, it was my first time to see uh, some animals that I used to see on the TV or in, in some books or even on the internet, like zebras and uh, hippopotamus. It was so amazing. I, was, I had even an experience even of approaching uh, a bit them and it was so amazing really. On day two today, uh, we visited uh, Akagera Park. We are still in the park and we are hoping to see more animals. Uh, as you know, it's a big five park now. We recently reintroduced uh, rhinos in May. Um, 18 of them exist in this very park. We reintroduced lions in 2015. Uh, there are about 17 of them in the park. So it's, it's very good for people to know that there are places one can go to and actually um, enjoy their stay in, in Rwanda, even as local tourists. Please try Tembiru Rwanda. Hi, this is Shima Gelda, uh, Miss Heritage Rwanda 2017 and the first runner-up of Miss Rwanda 2017. This is Tembiru Rwanda, this is so amazing. There's so much to see, so much to love and so much to do. Please, the next time you should be here. <laughs> Ending the trip, one thing I will really miss is the sunset at Mohazi Beach Resort. Not a good subject, you are a 